you know, don't judge a book by the cover, because I'm a real good book. It's kind of about the way I looked. It's like I'm just a backwoods Barbie. Too much makeup, too much hair. But don't be fooled by thinking that the goods are not all there. Don't let these false eyelashes lead you to believe that I'm as phony as I look, because I run true and deep. Let's not forget 95. Such an anthem for female empowerment and that we're stronger together. Did I see 9 to 5? Did I, in the sixth grade, perform a musical number in the talent show set to the tune of 9 to 5 that was actually a trampoline performance? Yeah, I did. 9 to 5 was the anthem of my youth. It's probably why I've become such a feminist. It's all uh, Dolly's fault. Women now are dealing with so much harassment in the workplace, and do you think things have changed since 9 to 5? Not changed enough, I don't think. When I did 9 to 5 with Jane and Lily years ago, we made a great statement at that time, and I think it did improve a lot of things. But so many things need to be improved on still. You know, you need to be paid for what you do. You need to be respected for what you do. You need to be appreciated for what you do, whether you're a woman or a man. It doesn't matter about any of that. You just should be looked at as a human being and treated with respect. I really, you know, have always had a great relationship with men because of my dad and my brothers and my uncles that I was very close. I could stand up and just, I'd pretend like I was talking to one of my uncles or yeah. one of my brothers and saying, you're not pushing me around. Right. You know, I'm not just some silly little girl here. Yeah. I'm a songwriter. And I'm a singer, and I've got some smarts, and I think I can make us both a lot of money. We've got to learn to stand up a little more as women to, you know, to know maybe this will help some people be a little stronger. Yeah. I don't want us to feel like we're all teaming up against the men. I do believe, too, it's a moment for women to stand up, but honestly, we need balance in the world. We do. We've we got to have men. men. We've got to have good men doing that, and there are many. So many good men, so, so many more many. good men than bad. It's just that the bad ones need to be pointed out. I do believe women should be treated with the greatest respect, and I'm all about taking care of the people, you know, that need to be taken care of, standing up for the ones that need to be stood up for. But also, by the same token, I don't want to see all men thrown in a pile like all men are like that. They're not. I have worked with some wonderful men. I have loved some wonderful men. My best friends are wonderful men. But it's more about being respected as a human being. We shouldn't be thought of as girl, boy, black, white, green or blue. We should be appreciated and respected for who we are and what we have to give. Yeah. But if we have to fight for it, then we will. Women who shine bright should shine bright together because together we can shine a light on the world and that success isn't limited. And I think sometimes people think, okay, well, there's only a certain amount of success and if she gets it, I won't. But I just don't think that's true. No, I think it's very helpful. In fact, I, I know that was true outside the business in my own life, you know, being brought up poor and country and, you know, in that world where, you know, women really needed to stick together. Yeah. It was like that with my sisters and I and my aunts and my grandmas and my mom. Yeah. You know, we just had this whole world of women that kind of stu stuck together. The women in the church, like when we were going through things, whether it was divorce or abuse or whether it was just problems and the things that you had to deal with, we were stronger together. Mm -hmm.